Dominic Cumming thing has been really interesting, isn't it? Cumgate. What an appropriate name for an absolutely, you know, unavoidable, avoidable, yeah, unav- unavoidable catastrophe from somebody, you know, who you'd think would have a little bit more foresight in Dominic Cumming, right? Somebody that was instrumental in crafting the Leave campaign. He couldn't see this coming. He couldn't see the trouble he'd get in for. Alleged, no, allegedly, he actually went to visit his parents because he was afraid that there'll be no one to look after his young children and he's wife was ill you know you can read the story online it's a flipping shit show they decided to sit down in number 10's garden and have a little impromptu conference press conference which you probably should have done when the story broke this is one of those occasions where you sometimes think to yourself you know these guys they can have moments of utter brilliance right the leave campaign you know whether or not you're a remainer or a leaver whether or not you you're opposed to um the slogan or the goals that uh, that was set there and you're a remainder you have to admit that leave campaign was pure genius right from how they stoked the division within the country exploited it had a clear messaging without any kind of real substance towards it that then led them to victory like it was kind of genius um marketing placement uh you know sewing discontent like it was a perfect psyop operation right they smashed it so for somebody that was so instrumental in that whole entire um roll out to get this completely wrong it just makes you think like are these people as smart as they kind of lead you to believe or is it just all or, or are we more or are, are the british public um more t- to blame for the fact that you know we are out of the eu now like who is to blame really these masterminds or us for being dumb enough not to see through some of their um you know misgivings but jesus man what a, what a shit show I think this all could have been avoided really not not really because I think Dominic Cummings much like a lot of like um a lot of celebrities who get caught up in these um you know uh who get caught up doing something wrong in public and then essentially try to get cancelled at the root of it people just don't like this guy right they want any excuse to get rid of him you know kind of cancel his life you know make sure his kids go hungry and his wife doesn't have a roof over their head, right? They don't, they want him to kind of like die, essentially, right? They hate him that much. You see it from the vitriol, or some of the questions of journalists, right? It was really impassioned, like they really despise this man. So I think he suffered from that. So when you suffer from having that kind of level of self perception from the public, where they just don't like you as a person, you have to always come on the front foot you can't let things just like drone on in the background because you won't be given the benefit of the doubt no one's going to give that to you because they don't like you they hate your guts so if you would have come out straight away when this story leaked and just kind of put everything on the table it would have been far better but the nature of politics doesn't necessarily call for that does it it's not necessarily an arena or an occupation that calls for you to be honest and for you to like say things as they are right the whole point of politics is you know to kind of leave stuff out make things vague um you know play up to us play up to you know the public sentiment um underplay some things to your advantage overstate some things to your advantage play people off against each other but there's no real um consistent uh thread of kind of being honest right with your constituency honest with the public at hand honest with people that vote in power that's not necessarily a thing that happens which is odd isn't it considering you know some of the people that you know who make up the british public are going to be fans of you right fans of your party people that actually voted you into power so you'd think you'd maybe owe them something an explanation so that you know they're not having to like fight your battles for you because that was a weird thing he didn't say nothing but all these mps having to come out and back him and it's like i'm not backing anyone that's not gonna back themselves jeremy you know I mean? that's just really weird isn't it that's some super like cuckery white knightery behavior in it like backing somebody and you have no idea what the facts are because imagine if it comes luckily those mps didn't say you know anything too mad but imagine if the facts came out and he actually did take the piss which you know he evidently did but imagine if it was worse than what um he described in a press conference how dumb would you look having gone super hell for leather for him and then actually it's turned out to be something that's like really serious so he doesn't say nothing he tries to kind of do the whole ignoring ignoring it until it goes away thing which you know if ever there's a moment where that kind of strategy doesn't work it's now because everyone's at home look at what's happened to doja cat right she has to make a statement because it just kept going on right people just drumming on and on about her being in alt right chat rooms it's just you can't ignore things now because everyone's at home on their phones on social media you have to address things head on so he finally addresses it he finally speaks about it and you know f- fair enough you know the story's full of holes 
the bit about him, you know, feeling like his eyesight was bothering him. So he decided to go for a drive in order to kind of test it was absolutely insane. It reminds me of the, you know, the classic line of, um, what's his name? Prince Andrew, you know, with the peace expressing Woking, right? Um, just a complete shit show in terms of how he would present himself. Um, you know, he got a bit ratty for a minute. He kind of blamed the media for spinning the story out of control, which is nuts because, you know, he gave them, he he's being a, being a quote not a spin doctor but being somebody who who knows how the media works he should have been aware that the more time and the more space he gives in between the story leaking and him answering they're gonna fill in the blanks and make up any kind of you know stories or rumors or and do what the media does so you shouldn't be surprised by that but yeah man i just you look at it and you just think fuck and then you know the distraction with you know lockdown in the uk hasn't been necessarily uh you know hasn't been the stellar performance from us brits has to be said we've kind of flouted the rules um for maybe the best part of three weeks now people have been going out and fucking it off and no one's really been caring um the social distancing rules have kind of not really worked that well people in especially my, my area people are passing each other you know and not really you know crossing the road as they were previously there's a lack of people wearing masks and stuff so if you do want to encourage the public to take more ownership and to maybe take the thing more seriously and abide by the rules you what you don't want is your leaders the people in power to be taking the piss because it does look like you know it's a wrong rule for them one rule for us which you know which evidently you know is true I think right but you don't want it to be true in this regard of course there's going to be occasions you know if they get involved in some sort of legal dispute you know he's not going to prison right if he goes gets caught up in something right he gets caught taking a couple bumps in the toilet hooking up with a project or something he's not going to lose his job he's not going to get go into prison by you know more often than not but you don't want you know when it's something as basic as like stay indoors don't go near elderly people don't drive unnecessary long distances if it's not to do with shops and all this sort of stuff just basic rules that we all know about for him to flout it and then to kind of you know get angry that he's been having to ask to explain himself is really bizarre and then another thing as well is like at the end of it is just like what's with the inability for politics again i'm not i don't follow politics at all because i just think it's you know it's prob it's 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 incredibly boring and um there isn't little to no resolution for us as you know as voters to really get involved because but what change can we make really right we're reduced to like three parties two in some cases to vote for some of the policies that are in place don't necessarily uh, you know affect or benefit you directly so it's just a complete waste of time especially in britain anyway i think most but most people probably feel like that but just in terms of just um how they conduct themselves as the public like the inability to just say i'm sorry it just was really striking like because he could have said anything he said and just came out and said look i'm really sorry i made a huge mistake i'm huge call a kind of a an error in judgment but i thought i was in i was in the rules because if he would let me i'm sorry but still explain that he thought he was in the rules as you know per the rules that he read it would have been fine i think i think it would have taken a lot of the sting out of it but it's just the it's just a sense of contempt that you feel from these people when they speak to the public who have to answer to their, for their misgivings, answer for their errors and their mistakes and their missteps. It's just like, why, why do you feel contempt for us for having to explain it? Like, you know, you essentially work for us and then you're feeling contempt for having to explain yourself to us. It's really bizarre, especially in the UK with the Tory party. Like, you know, they have a very large, um, you know, support base with working class people. And you sometimes think, why is that? When they quite clearly, you know, wouldn't you know they they wouldn't spit on you if you were on fire for real like they absolutely have got a lot of contempt for the british public which is interesting again maybe he's got a point because you know he's getting pelters at home and stuff and his families are probably getting you know family members of his are getting death threats and whatever it may be but <sighs> what a bad way to handle it man he handled it really really poorly i think in my opinion but hey um let's see if it rumbles on they want him to get they want him to resign that's not going to happen these guys you know they they hang around like a bad smell they are they they're essentially the political version of like you know dark side feel nothing can destroy them they just keep going on and on and on and on and on. They're like cockroaches, man. They just morph into other things or they just harden up and just, you know, bunker in. Their friends gather around them because they're all, you know, they all kind of scratch each other's back and nothing really changes. So, you know, don't waste your time getting upset about that if I was you.